All right, y'all, this is a homework question out of 7.6. This is question number three. And it says, to solve the equation for the solutions over the interval between zero and 360. Okay, so y'all, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look at my problem. And the first thing y'all looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, we can factor out a cosine squared and we're left with the two sine theta minus one is equal to zero, okay? So y'all, I'm gonna set each part equal to zero. So I'm gonna say, look, cosine squared theta equals zero, and two sine theta minus one is equal to zero, okay? So y'all, if cosine squared theta is equal to zero, that means that cosine theta is equal to zero. When I look at this one here, if I move that one over, y'all, that's gonna be a positive one, and then if we divide it by two, that's telling me that sine is equal to one half. So y'all, what I wanna do is I wanna think about when is the cosine equal to zero and when is the sine equal to one half, okay? So y'all, if I come back over here and I'm just gonna, this is just one of the, uh, sorry, one of the documents that I provided for you guys. I'm gonna zoom in on this, okay? And let's see, when is the cosine equal to zero? And actually I'm gonna, keep it small like I had it before. Okay, when is the cosine equal to zero? So the cosine is equal to zero at 90 degrees as well as 270. And when is the sine equal to one half at 30 degrees as well as 150 degrees? So right here, so look y'all, the answers I'm coming up with are 30, 90, 150, 270, okay. So I'm coming up with 30, 90, 150, and 270. And, sorry, let's come back here. And let's enter those numbers in. So let's see, we can do that here. 30, comma, 90, comma, 150, comma, 270. Enter that in, and we got it, okay? So that was how I did number three.